Hey guys, what's up? Here is Max. After a long hiatus, it is with great pleasure that I bring you the newest chapter of Dragon Ball Hakai. Do you want to see the continuation of the story of Goku God of Destruction? Well, stay connected to the channel and let's go to the video. Hakai. Before starting with the chapter, I would like to thank all those who contributed to the production of the manga through our Patreon. It is thanks to these people that we were able to continue with the manga, and you all have access to this chapter now. If you want to be a contributor too, click on the link in the video description to learn more. And in addition to helping with the production of Dragon Ball Hakai, you will receive some exclusive benefits here on the channel. With more help, we'll be able to improve production and bring out better chapters faster. And of course, if you want to read this whole chapter, go visit our website, dbhakai.com. There you will have access to all chapters of the story. Now that I've said everything I had to say, let's get to the chapter. The name of the chapter is The Fist of Destruction, and it begins by showing us Solar System Number 9086, which in an instant is completely destroyed by a colossal explosion. Those responsible for this are Goku and Odisu, who continue the fight in a very intense exchange of blows, while traveling through the vacuum of space. As he trades blows with the Beast of Destruction, Odisu remarks that he has lost count of how many Solar Systems his enemy has destroyed, and asks if he intends to destroy the entire universe. The Energy of Destruction replies that he he has already said that he will destroy everything. They finish the exchange of blows while separating and then start to face each other. Odisu says that during the fight, he has been trying to contain the impacts of Goku's blows so that the universe is not completely destroyed. But even so, Goku is causing catastrophes that will soon result in the destruction of everything. It wouldn't be good for Odisu's plans if this universe is destroyed now, so he has to finish off Goku soon. The energy of destruction that possesses the Hakaishin body is not interested in Odisu's plans for the universe. He just wants to know how Odisu intends to defeat him. The mage answers this question by invoking a technique, such a technique he calls Incinerating Fist, which causes his hand to become enveloped in flames. The energy of destruction watches that technique closely, revealing in thoughts that the amount of heat Odisu's hand is emanating at that moment is so absurd that even for him it is uncontrollable to be near. He asks Odisu to show him what this ability does, and the mage does this by pointing his hand at a stone and touching it, so the stone is instantly turned to dust. The Beast of Destruction likes that, but says he also knows how to do something similar. He coats his hand with destructive energy, points to a stone and touches it. The next moment, the stone too is turned to dust. It seems that the two techniques reach the same end, despite having different concepts. After showing Odisu what his technique does, Goku says he's going to call it Fist of Destruction, and asks him what he thinks of the name. But Odisu threatens that soon, he won't be bothering to name things anymore. Goku agrees, but says that this will happen because he will already have finished with the mage. Far away in Zeno's palace, the gathering of angels is taking place. The speaker is the Daishinken who gives a summary of the latest events, saying that with the destruction of the Super Dragon Balls and the kidnapping of the omniscient being called Zuno, the Celestial Mages took away two very important treasures. With Zuno in their possession, they certainly found the five great primordial beasts, which leaves everyone dependent on the gods of destruction to defend the cocoons. Taking into account the power level of this generation of gods, the high priest concludes that the situation is not favorable for them. The high priest's words make the Zenos worried. Daishinkan warns that they should consider the possibility that in a short time, Zarat will come back to life. Margarita, the angel of Universe 11, asks her father what the angels should do now. Daishinkan responds that despite the seriousness of this situation, the laws of the accord between this realm and their home realm say that the angels must remain out of combat. So while it's unlikely the gods can handle the threat of mages, unfortunately this is a situation they have to deal with. The most angels can do is guide the gods, as they always have. Guys, with these lines from the Daishinkan, we can see that in Dragon Ball Hakai, the angels do not originate in the Zeno's realm. That is, in the same way the celestial mages belong to another realm, the Zarat realm. Angels also belong to another realm. Continuing with the story, just like the last chapter, someone arrives at the meeting. That person is Liai, who surprises everyone with her appearance, especially Vados. Liai is relieved to see Vados and says she needs her help, which leaves the angel a little surprised. Clearly not seeing that interruption with good eyes, Daishinkan calls out to Liai and asks if she has any idea of the seriousness of the offense she just committed. 
Liai immediately falls to her knees as she apologizes, but justifies her act by saying she needs Vados' help as Goku lost control while facing a mage who invaded Universe 6, and now he's on the verge of destroying the entire universe. Vados is troubled by this revelation while Liai pleads with the High Priest to let the Angel return with her to save Goku and the universe. Taishinkan seems to think for a second, but it doesn't take long for him to give an answer. And his answer is no. He says it's the gods' responsibility to take care of their universes, and nothing justifies her intervention in this meeting. Daishinkan also says that because of her inelegance and breach of decorum, Lei's punishment could even be death. Eager to do something, the Zenos raise their hand and ask if they should erase her, which makes Lei freeze. But Whis politely intervenes reminding the Zenos that if they erase Lei, they erase Goku as well. As their lives are connected, the Zenos rethink their decision. They shouldn't erase Goku for so little, since Goku is too nice for that. Liai thanks the Zenos for their decision, but says that if things continue as they are in Universe 6, Goku will die anyway. And based on that argument, she begs them to allow Vados to go with her. The Zenos look at each other, wondering what to do. In Universe 6 on a planet called Gasparant, two armies are about to clash. But they stop when they notice two things moving at high speed in the sky. It's Goku and Odisu who prepare for the collision with their fists, coated in flames and destructive energy. The collision takes place in a huge explosion, where on one side the destructive energy destroys one army, and on the other, the flames incinerate their enemy. All this happened thanks to a simple collision of the fists of the two deities, and this collision does not only affect the armies, but the entire planet, which disappears in a huge explosion. Goku and Odisu continue to exchange blows amidst the remains of the planet, an exchange of blows that seems to be intense for both of them. The blows of the gods provoke even more vibrational waves that spread throughout the universe. In Anamic Village, Saunel and Polina see this with great concern. On planet Sadala, Kaba also sees this from a city, while Kale and Kalifla, who were traveling through the sky with a group of soldiers, also see what is happening, and are impressed. From the balcony of his castle, King Krista sees the city being affected by this event, and then he looks reflectively and worriedly at the sky. On planet Earth, Champa also watches that calamity and accepts that the end has finally come. As the combat rages on, Odisu realizes that the universe is hanging by a thread, and he has to end it immediately. Goku blocks a punch from Odisu, but when the flame-clad fist lands, it incinerates his bracelet and burns his arm. But Goku immediately retaliates with a punch that the mage has to block, which also causes the destruction of his bracelet and injuries to his arm. Thirsty for destruction, the beast exclaims that he wants more, much more. In all other universes, all gods are aware of the extraordinary combat that takes place in Universe 6. Seeming to get the worst of the fight, Odisu notes in his thoughts that his body has reached its limit. The impact waves of their blows shatter a nearby celestial body, smashing it to pieces. Odisu tries to retreat, but Goku chases him and lands a kick on the mage, hurling him into another nearby celestial body. Goku says that the mage will not run away now, and this offends Odisu, who charges at him asking if the beast thinks he is a coward, and telling him not to underestimate him. Goku tries to land a punch on the advancing enemy, but Odisu dodges and lands an upward punch that would hit Goku's chin if he didn't move his body back. But Odisu's hand touches the collar of Goku's uniform, incinerating it. Odisu is surprised that he dodged it and the beast yells that he is the one who shouldn't underestimate him. Goku's punch hits Odisu in a destructive blast. The blow landed on the mage's shoulder, destroying his shoulder pad and apparently rendering his arm useless. And after doing so, the Beast of Destruction prepares the final blow, but is completely surprised when something hits him. A large stone stake, which pierces his body. The fight between Goku and Odisu comes to a halt, where the Beast of Destruction was about to win, but is hit by a surprise attack. Will Goku withstand his injury? Will the destruction of Universe 6 continue? Find out in the next chapter of Dragon Ball Hakai. And that was chapter 24 of Dragon Ball Hakai, guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this chapter and what you think will happen in the next one. Remember that if you want the chapters to be produced faster, consider collaborating with our Patreon, and then we can improve production. To learn more, click on the link in the video description. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget your like and subscribe to the channel as we become 200,000 subscribers. Until the next time, goodbye. <laughs>